Gun or the days where your prototypes look like something that Massimo Bottura made. Although, I kind of liked it. Two weeks ago, Figma released tokens. Oh, uh, sorry. Variables, I meant. Variables solve so many problems in our real life prototyping when we want to make interfaces much more realistic and easier to use. So let's dive in and get the hang of variables once and for all. We're going to start with some of the basics on how to use variables and how to set them up, but it's going to be fairly easy. So uh, don't be scared. So I'm currently working on this golf app and uh, we have this screen where people need to update scores. And usually if I had to do it, uh, what I would have to do is basically set a condition like this. So every plus will be a five, but then like for every person. So it can get quite crazy. And yeah, technically you can do this with components, but still it would have been like so messy. Like it would have been like a huge, huge file. Not anymore. With variables, all we need is just one swift action. First things first, we need to set up a variable. And how do we do this? Uh, it's fairly simple to do, to be honest. Like You need to remember that if you select your frame, uh, you won't see where the variables are. So click outside and click on local variables. For the sake of making it, maintaining it, and making it tidy, make sure to rename your collection. So click rename collection and let's say like trophy golf as this is how it's called since i want to update scores i'm going to cr click create a variable and i'm going to select a number variable because we are updating a number so click on number and this is like our score so let's change it to score and set the variable to four simply because it's four because the game will start from zero uh, maybe we can start it at zero but for this example, we are going to use four. Here it is, we have our variables set up. This is pretty simple. Now, one thing that I want you to notice is that if you want to add additional variables, uh, you click here and this has more variable options like dark mode, light mode, but we won't go into depth. Now, what we need to do is come here, click on our number, go here to the right side on the layers panel, you see this icon. And this will be basically the icon where we need to select anything to modify the variable. So we want to tell Figma, hey, this is a variable that will be modified in our prototype. So click it and you immediately see all your variables. Since we have only one, we click on score and that's it. We've connected the variable. Up until now, it was super simple. Like it's super easy to connect and uh, to do it. So the way I want to have this set up is when a person clicks on plus to go up and when a person clicks minus uh, to go down. So let's click on the plus, go here to prototype and interaction. We have already set up one for some reason. Click it click an interaction and go to set variable. Here we have displayed all the variables. We have only one, so we're gonna see only the score one. So click on score. And what do we want to do? From here, we want to change the score to, again, click on score. And we want to add, subtract, multiply or divide. Now, since this is a plus, we want to click addition and click one and hit enter. And your variable is set. Okay, cool. Uh, we have the plus set up. Now let's set up the minus as well. Click on interaction once again. Click set variable, select score, select score, add subtraction, minus one. Boom. And then here we have it. Uh, we've set up our variable. Now the cool thing is that let's just test out and see how it looks. Um, you can come here to the new prototype preview or hit uh, control space. So let's just click that and see here we have the numbers going up and here we have the numbers going down. Oh, wait, what? What the fuck? Let's fix this. The cool thing about this Figma update is that uh, with it, you can set multiple uh, actions to the same thing. Now, what we would like to do is uh, click on this. And now we have this variable, but now I would like to add a condition. So what is a condition? A condition is super simple. You can basically uh, think of a condition as if else statement, 
basically if a score reaches zero don't go below it pretty simple right so let's do exactly that i don't want to go below it because you cannot be negative like you're basically you just can't <laughs> in this example so let's click add an action click add conditional and just write the condition if score is uh, greater than um zero and just you can just oops you can just close this and multiply it and do score basically shouldn't do nothing let's test the prototype again so go here prototype and let's see if it goes below zero and you can see that oh amazing we're at zero <laughs> simple uh the cool thing about this is you can have like multiple things of that and that everything is connected to each other now I, what i would like to do because in our example a par is like uh, what are the average shots you need to take per hole so here is seven and what i would like to do is if this number exceeds seven i would like this to turn on if you remember how your textiles and how those were set up, you might have remember Boolean fields. How are we going to do? Basically, a Boolean field is a, a true or false, like it's on or off. It doesn't have much other options. This is what we're going to do with this style. So go to your local variables once again, click on create a new variable, go to Boolean, and we're going to uh, name it extra Power. Since it's going to be false by default, because only people who go above seven will do it, I was gonna keep it like this, or otherwise you can make it. Go to your, I'm gonna come to here, click on this, and you can see like, oh, where do we add this? Where is this style to be hidden? So it's hidden under the layers panel. And if you click, come to this eye, right click, and click on extra power and you'll be able to see it we already have this but we would like to add as the same way we had a conditional when we hit zero to stop we would like to add like once the number exceeds seven we want to pop up this model well let's click this we click on the plus select conditional if a uh, score uh, is greater than seven we are going to open an overlay and that overlay will be code overlay and let's just add the background and we are not gonna do anything fancy with it let's see if it works seven oops it works on the eighth huh what do we do now now we cannot just click on yes and lead to a new screen that would be too complicated to do right what we would like to do is here on the cancel you can just click and you can just select um, to go back, basically navigate back, and that's it. On the yes, we would let's just close this so it doesn't distract us. All right, so after we've done the cancel and it will go back, we want to set up this boolean. So again, we come to interaction, and the first thing you see is set up the conditional, at uh, the variable, sorry. Click on set variable, extra par, and we want to set it to true. And now, in theory, once we click on five, six, seven, eight, and we click on yes, it shows a blue dot. But we don't want this to be visible at all times, do we? So you come here back again. We close this. And that's the cool thing about uh, the ifs and else is that you can set like a conditional. And let's just move a little bit. And you can set a conditional if it's true. We want to close the overlay. Now, once we come here and play the prototype, you can see we go to zero and we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We click on yes and the blue dot appears. Now, um, what you need, what you can do is just uh, link this to be a component so it can repeat on every single thing you have like this. And that would be the amazing thing about variables. So that was the basic things you can do with variables. And I am beyond excited what you can actually achieve with it. So let me know what was your favorite thing from Config from last week. And I'll look forward to seeing you next week.